Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. We finally got some stuff from uh, MGL. Some of the MGL avionics stuff came, and uh, not quite all of it, and uh, more to come on that stuff. But one of the things was the thermocouples, and so now I can uh, drill the holes in the exhaust pipes to, for the EGT sensors um, and install these, and these are 3 16 so that's what I'll do right now. So I have already uh, used a measuring tape to mark out about three inches from the, uh, from the actual cylinder head where the exhaust comes out of. Um, so that's what, that seems to be the mark that works the best for the way that these are bent. The main thing is not necessarily how close to the cylinder head they are, but that they're all at the same distance so I get uh, equal um, readings, accurate readings for all of the cylinders. And then the other thing, which is a really good idea, is that I'm going to make sure that when I drill the hole, I'm going to drill it so that <clears throat> if the exhaust were to escape out of this hole, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't point like up toward the engine, let's say, or, you know, toward the inside, towards all this other stuff. So the exhaust gases will be coming out kind of like this way, I'm thinking. Okay, you know what? Let's get a new bit. down, three more to go. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to uh, remove the exhaust pipes and replace the gaskets as well as attach the muffler and the exhaust uh, brackets as well the, the exhaust like support brackets and yeah and I'm gonna go ahead and blow out these tubes when I have them off just to make sure we get all the the uh, metal shavings out of there quarter inch to three-eighths inch Oh, check that out. Tell you what, let me get a, dang, I had a breaker bar. I don't know what happened to it. All right, let's get these guys out of here. Got those Nordlock washers on there. <clears throat> that's a tricky one to get to right there. Oh, dang, that's a tough one. Oh, that's gonna be fun later. How the heck do they think people are gonna get to that? Wow. Okay. Good grief. Oh wow, that loosens up pretty quick. Back 
there. Yikes. New idea. Too small. Dang it, it's too big. Aha. Not easy to get to there. Okay, this is not working that well. There we go. All right, look at that. Okay, so it's just this little plate that holds it on, like that. These are the rings right here that we need to get out of there. I guess I should have used this when I was doing the walkthrough of the engine. That would have been good, maybe, huh? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Those are super deformed. Okay, I got the old one out. Um, it's just, it's just kind of tight. You just have to very carefully but forcefully pry it out until it just pops right out of there. So, yeah. All right, so that's the old one. Put a new one on there. some antices here and okay so we should not have any sealing problems but this should be enough to keep this from sliding off them so that they are snug and holding 
this thing in place. Man, this is a pain though. Okay, good. So I want to keep it up there, but it's nice and loose. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Stuff is so goopy. It's weird because this this little plate is it doesn't come straight down like the you know it kind of meets up at an angle so it doesn't come straight out the bottom of the cylinder so it's like hard to tell if it's lined up right. All right, so good. We can still move this around. Still move this around. Excellent. 